so siku moja mama fulani akaona huyu kijana ni mnoma anashekesha watu yes. kuja utushekeshe kwa ibada yetu yeah. nikaenda nikawashekesha kwa ibada yako huyo mama kaniangushia pesa Eish. ha just like si nilikuwa nimesota yeah. na nimeangushiwa pesa yeah. nikaona hii ni kazi yes. so my mom was like umepewa hii pesa kufanya mm. ati sikuongea kwa event ya mtu mm. na hivyo ndio glen alianza kutafuta pesa Hey yo everybody welcome to Sanana Mitindo kama kawaida we continue our series on Nairobi's finest MCs and on set I have an amazing MC anaitwa MC Glen na kwambia huyu jamaa na wakati kishanga watu kwa harusi kina mama bwana wanapiga tu nduru eh I tell you you can check him out on YouTube but also on his socials kazi yeye anafanyanga pale kwa maharusi and also i believe he also does corporate events so we'll get to dive in and also get to know uh much about him so stay put don't touch this dial it's every wednesday at 8 p.m. here on Wemo TV karibu sana bro Ay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're looking sharp i i know uh, i wanted this points to come pointed so ouch come sharp ouch ouch <laughs> ouch ouch karibu sana kwa show niko poa sana i'm really excited to have you here Shukran. on set eh mm-hmm. uh, yeah, my first time on tv we eh? is this your first time on tv really <laughs> yeah nimekuwa on the other end uh, asking the questions the other side the other side oh you kukua kukua host you yeah. kukua hosted mm. uh, so this is nice at least sasa tulia bro ni kupange then mimi najaribu kula humility lakini sawa eh so for those who maybe have not known who MC Glenn is you can introduce yourself yeah my yeah. name is Eugene Glenn mm-hmm. hizo ndo majina ambayo yuko kwa ID mm-hmm. born and bred in Kisumu mm-hmm. kijana ya Uyoma <laughs> rangi takuonyesha eh uh, stage name ni MC Glenn 254 eh uh-huh. yes i live here in Nairobi currently currently juu ya kazi from UK to Nairobi city yes from united kisumu uh, to the great city of nairobi ish amazing 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 yes so you can tell us more about yourself where did you go to primary where did you go to high school how was how was life back in kisumu city i uh, using glen uh, went to central primary school because uh-huh. i used to make a joke that our our initials are should it was because they used to match with the central police station CPS. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> anyway, uh, then Pia uh, the problem is that our uniform Pia uh, ilikuwa na strips. So it was like jela. Ai 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 ai. So, ay, so uh, I studied in uh, Central Poli- yeah, Central Oh, Poli- Central Poli- Central Poli- Primary School. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for uh, 11 years. Nilianza uh-huh. huko baby class. Nikaenda wow. all through mpaka class 8. Like you never change shule. Hata suspension sikuwa nayo. What? Kweli ulikuwa mtoto mzuri aje? Primary nilikuwa mtu mzuri. Eh, ulikuwa mtoto mzuri. I must admit. Uh, so what what stands out for your school? Eh, as uh, in, what, what was that thing about your school that you can always remember or maybe that teacher or something about your school that you you always loved? I loved the diligence in uh, in uh, teaching. Diligence in teaching. Yeah, in teaching. I remember Uh, shout out to all my class teachers nilikuwa na several yeah. um madam oro that that's the class teacher who took me from class 6 to 7 uh, then <laughs> madam kamiruka 7 yeah. to 8 madam kamewa kamiruka wow then uh-huh. tukirudi nyuma nilikuwa na madam mugoi uh-huh. who took me from class 4 to 5 naona vile nilikuwa na class teachers wengi yes then uh, uh-huh. kuna Then you were a good student if you can remember at least like three <laughs> names of your class yes. teachers we I can't remember like any So they were very primary. diligent in how they used to teach <laughs> and uh, apparently Madam Kameruka was my first uh, class teacher mwenye mm. uh, anafundisha a science subject mm. maths maths wengine walikuwa wanafundisha Kiswahili yeye alikuwa anafundisha mathematics and she was good at it nice yeye ndiye alitusaidia mpaka hapo malituko Mm-hmm. Then I also remember my maths you know I remember math teachers because my favorite subject was maths. Oh my god. Ay 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 ay. Maths was my thing. Man. So my ni madam Kamiruka mm-hmm. na one man Mr. Ukwiri tukatambita Kwach. Mr. Kwach. Mr. Kwach. 
Huyu alikuwa mdendi mathematics wewe. Eh. Ah, alikuwa mdendi. So salute to all those teachers man. Amazing, amazing. Then uh, in high school uh-huh. after kupita primary school. primary to ka uh-huh. at least nikatoka Kisumu. Hey. Finally hey, nilikuwa nimeanza nini? Kisumu seat. Unaona sina sina accent ya kijaluo. Eh. Na kuambia nilikuwa naitandika. Eh. So I went to a friend school Kamusinga. Eh. The great. The great. <laughs> yes. Huko uh, ndio wakakufundisha English. Eh, huko nakwambia kuacha kusema English. Sasa one the first month uh, nilikuwa tu ingluo ingluo ingluo. Yaani unaongea na mtu akao like, "Hey, wewe nimejaluo. Uh, Umejua nini?" Kwani umejuaje? It's your accent. Ilikuwa hapo ndani. It was so deep. So, uh, that was between 2014 and 2017. So I finished my form 4. Mm-hmm. Then uh, definitely passed maths and physics. Math and physics. I always say I passed math and physics. You have to sisitiza. Math and physics. <laughs> the rest we only need. The rest we perform. I performed well. Yes. But I passed maths and physics. Yes. And went to Moi University to pursue electrical and telecommunication engineering. You see, what a what a so, puka, bro. So to make a pause up to high school. To the really high school. Now high school. What kind of a student were you in high school? What kind of a student uh, were you in high school? As in high school I was a mixed breed. Music first. Nilikuwa mixed breed. Sasa niliingia high school late so sikuwa na mushi mushi mingi. Yes. Uh-huh. So nili relax kidogo. Uh-huh. Na imagine hata nilishindwa ku relax. Ulishindwa. Week 1. Eh uh-huh. Week one, mtoto ameingia shule week one. Notorious. Asha, asha ingizo kwa basi ya kwenda trip. Eish. Basi ya kwenda. Numa, week one. Numoja nenda kufanya nini? Eh. Cheering squad. Oh my hiyo siku, god. Hiyo siku deputy school captain nakumbuka uh, uh, Kennedy Magero. Uh-huh. Who was the deputy school captain and also the <coughs> CU deputy chair. Uh-huh. Alinikuja tu wa class akauliza tu class mzima. Who is the best noise maker in your class? Form 1. Eh. Glenn, na sasa ni make up mbele. Kipi eh. alishtuka. Watu eh. wanakaa mbele unapiga kelele wewe. Eh. No umekuja last week. Eh. Kwanza nilikuwa nimekuja shule late. Trip just like that. I I thought tulikuwa eh. tunaenda kuchapwa because eh. I was still naive. Mm. Ai tumepeleka trip tunasikia tu. Na leo tunakula nini? Tuko tu rehearsals mm. wewe. Eh. <laughs> so that was week 1. Eh. So Definitely nipatia ili hiyo nilinipatia definition of who I was nini the kind of student nini for uh-huh. so mm. nikaanza tukua mtu wa kelele apparently later from one from two siku aienda music festival ama drama festival from one from two from one from two nilipenda tu hii cheering squad sports eh sports sisi mm. ndio wale watu wa kupiga kelele tunakula nini hiyo tu Just Lakini like that. Lakini ya oh twende tufanye professionally ati. Eh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, mm, not me. Not you. So for from 1 from 2. Then so from 1 from 2 from 3 from 4. From 3 from 4. Sasa from 3 uh I think uh, actors walikuwa kiasi nikatupwa uh-huh. kwa acting. Yes. But by then I was now fully immersed into CU as a worship leader. Oh nice. Nilianza nice. used to sing worship like in CU. In CU yes. Uh-huh. Nice. So Actually nikienda high school uh-huh. nilikuwa ngana imba kwa church. Uh-huh. Then nikajaribu ile mchezo ya bana si high school. Uh-huh. Si yako mamangu ajuko. Uh-huh. Si tujaribu kitu mpya. Uh-huh. Nikaenda entertainment week 1. Uh-huh. Ju sasa all the friends I knew were watu wa yes. enter. Yes. Ai hiyo entertainment, hiyo entertainment tulimaliza. Uh-huh. Nguvu ulinipatia. Eh uh-huh. hai tulishindwa kumaliza enter. Nikajikuta nimeingia kwa movie ya CU. No, I, mean, yeah. I like walking a lot. Yes. So nikakimbia CU, so that's when I get my footing up with CU. Mm-hmm. So I joined the worship team. Mm. In form 2 nikakuwa worship leader. Mm. In form 2. In form 2. In form 1 nilikuwa worship trainer. Mm-hmm. Na train watu. Oh. like this boy anajua kuimba, mm-hmm. tufundishe. Mm-hmm. So in form 2 nikakuwa worship leader. Then uh is it in form form 3? Mm-hmm. Nika join drama. Mm. Na unajua high school. Yes. Drama na Illuminati na Shetani ni kitu moja. Yes. Wanatembea hivi. Siki. So tunajiuliza mbona na, na hizi zote talenta mm. ya mimi. Eh. Eh. Walimu mletufanyie ile kitu mwili tudanganye. Eh. So uh, join uh, drama. Uh-huh. Then uh, nikachujua CU worship leader. Eh. Walijua huyu kijana amepotea. Eh. Lakini huko nichuja sana. Walinieka walinieka kwa probation Sabwa. kitu kama kitu uh-huh. kwa probation. Uh-huh. So from 3 nika join drama mm. and I see I joined the drama simply because I wrote my first script. That was I wrote my first script then nika direct then our house won mm. the inter house drama competition. Hey, that's amazing. Na script yangu. 
Wow. Nikachukuliwa na one of the judges mandiko hapo was the, to be a one, nini ya wa form 3 director. Mm-hmm. Aka to direct, aka niambewe kuja. Mm-hmm. Nilipa wa role ya dem. Hey! Na isu rangu Jesus gumu. Nilipa wa role ya dem. Isu rangu gumu. Hey. Na pewa role. Na kuna. Yes, Sebastian. As I was saying, go like, ata ika. 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 Sa hiyo misuli, ukona hapa misuli tingenya, umepewa ule, mwenye vile mwaza mandevu wazi na shika. Yes, yes. Hii, yeah. uh, kuchini umepewa nini na nyuele na ayo, uh, ni kama we ni astrelopiteka, sa ujai maliza <laughs> kuhu evolve. <laughs> so, nika chapa yo role, uh, then form four, nika, tuna, nika ingizo tuna drama as a main character now. Yes. And this time round, nai, well, si yuna walikuwa serious. Mm-hmm. Kijana toka. Waka kutoka kabisa 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 mm. worship worship leader mm. so I come to me but I felt I, I felt good because mm. uh, drama was an obligation mm. then for see you to me was a lifestyle mm. worship was a lifestyle mm. so hata uh, kama uyuko kwa kwa leadership mm, I'd no. still be there mm. so nika nika say my drama I'll do it for the school mm. because I can act yes. see you I'll do it for myself mm. so I'll, I continued worshiping Nice. Mimi hata tukienda drama festivals on Sunday. Mm. Lead service kwanza mm. ndio ni yeye. Ani kaka hapo mpaka mwisho wa uh, form 4. Mm. I think I, I realized that on, on the last days of form 4 I was the only form 4 in the worship team. Yes. Na nika sustain that's bado tuko hapo. That's beautiful. Yes. You joined Moi University. Eh yeah, Moi University. Yes, what did you pursue in Moi University? Moi University tulijaribu electrical and telecommunication. Mulijaribu. Underline the word tulijaribu <laughs> capital letters <laughs> eka red. Ni za ni electrical and telecommunication. Okay. Then later I think it was a change of passion, uh-huh. something of the sort. Yes. You know, uh we we joined the campus uh-huh. without uh, nini without uh, how do you call it? I, I didn't go through is is ni tonga je career counseling. Yes, yes. Because yes. uh I used to make noise in high school, mm-hmm. but I used not to make intentional relationships or mm-hmm. even make intentional talks with mm-hmm. my teachers. Yes. So they didn't know who I was. Mm. I didn't know nini, mm. who I was actually at Nikiwa High School. Yes. So anything I mean nikipita mtiani mm. natafuta courses iko kwa hiyo line. Okay. But personally as a human being mm. siko na get. Mm. So nikaenda electrical and telecommunication mm. fanya miaka mbili. Eh uh-huh. eh sijai anguka mtiani hata siko anguka. Uh-huh. Nikachoka. Ulichoka. Nilichoka. Mm-hmm. So one day katika ya semester I think in 2.2 katika ya semester mm. toka shule ba. Mm-hmm. Toka shule. Kapanda, kapanda gari ya kurudi Kisumu. Katoka Kisumu nikakimbia na nikakuja Nairobi. Where is your where are your parents? What are they saying? My parents are, they know eh, where you wako, are? Wako, wako Kisumu. Eh. They know where 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 I am because when okay. I when Ume, I was... umetoka Kampo. Mhm. Ulikuwa unatoa pesa wapi? Ah uh, because kidogo tulikuwa tuna ama ni help ndio ilikuwa imekuja. Ah uh, si help you help ilikuwa inaisha kwa rent. So ilikuwa imeshaisha. Help inaishanga kwa rent. Pesa ya kutoka shule uende Kisumu ukuje na Ruby unatoa wapi? Ah tell us. Sasa wacha tuanze kazi nini story ya pesa. Yes. Nikimaliza form 4 ah eh. uh, tulikuwa tuna pocket money. Eh. Lakini set nilikuwa na nina save certain kwa na save mm. mmoja nikisema tulikuwa tunapewa pocket money mtu anasema ah alikuwa na save hapana alikuwa mm. anaikula vizuri properly mm. sasa nini eh, after form 4 mzazi akasema mm, wewe na pocket money mm after form 4 awioni yes eh niko la eh mzazi wewe umesahau mimi mtoto wako mm. sema sijasahau mm. issue ni sasa unakula kwangu mm. nalala kwangu mm. In short ni risota mm, sana ni risota sana I know that feeling Nikaanza nikakumbuka mm. niko na sauti mm. first nilikuwa nasema nezaimba mm-hmm. wacha nitafute mali nezaimba yes nilipwe kitu yes then later later on mm. uh, nikaanza kupewa hizi church moderations mm-hmm. kanisa ikaona ah huyu kijana ako na kitu wacha tuchekeshe huyu mm-hmm. so nikapewa service mzima ya kuchekesha watu mm-hmm tuchekeshe mm. so siku moja mama fulani akaona huyu kijana ni mnoma anashekesha watu yes. kuja utushekeshe kwa ibada yetu eh. nikaenda nikawashekesha kwa ibada yako huyo mama kaniangushia pesa eish ha just like si that nilikuwa nimesota eh. na nimeangushiwa pesa eh. nikaona hii ni kazi 
Ukona hiyo ni kazi. Hii ni kazi nalalia. Entrepreneurship. Eh, hey, nakwambia ni kazi kuitwa mwagi. <laughs> Moja mwagi akiona pesa anaendelea kufanya hiyo kitu. <laughs> yes. Nikakibia kwa mzazi nikamwambia mzazi, "Umjue huyu mama amenilipa?" Eh eh. Ati amekulipa nini? Amenilipa eh, pesa eh, mzuri. Eh. Nika, nika I gave my mom the whole amount. Yes. So my mom was like, "Umepewa hii pesa kufanya?" Mm. Ati siku ongea kwa event ya mtu. Mm. Na hivyo ndio Glen alianza kutafuta pesa. Jeez. So most of the money I used to use in campus is mm-hmm. equal from MC. Wow. So ni kwa MC gigs to dogo to dogo to dogo. So from campus from campus from high school yeah. from high school yes. you had already discovered you love MC and you started MC. Eh ko discover ni mimi hata sikwa nime already. Mimi nilijua nga. Mimi hata sikujua kuna concept inaitwa MC. Eh. You know I was in a school and you exposed lakini ni mimi mwenyewe ndo sikuji expose. Eh. Miss kwa ijua mtu anaweza lipo ajua amebonga. Yes. Me actually I thought ju I sing in the church for free. Mm. Anybody who speaks in any event anafanya for free. Yes. So nimeenda hivi nikalipwa. Mm. Eh nilienda nikaangalia online. Mm-hmm. Kwani mse analipwa kuongea anaitwa nani? Eh yeah. nikasikia kumwe kuna career inaitwa MC. Eish. Na mimi nilikuwa nimeandika kwanza initially uh, sikujua jina yangu tu FB ilikuwa Eugene Glen nilikuwa anga msafi by the way mm. mimi sikuwa ati ule nini Nairobi nini kis, Kisumu mm. hot, hot guy mm. Eugene Glen mamangu akitaka kunitafuta nitafute bio mm. nikaenda nyumbani after hiyo pesa nikabadilisha yes. uh, now i know kuna title ya mtu mwenye analipwa kuongea MC, MC Glen yes. MC Glen ukabadilisha jina kila mwaka. Eh hey, badilisha bwana. Yeah. <laughs> Event moja inafanya unasikwa na kaburi. Kaburi ya boss wa Almeria bwana. Eh hey, wewe acha. Hmm? Yes. So uh, I I changed my profile so that uh, it matches what I was doing by then. Left Moi University came to Nairobi. Left Moi University came to Nairobi. I came for an, an acting gig. Mm-hmm. Then covid ikafanya ile kitu. Mpaka ni okay. ni feeling ni kama Mungu ananiambia rudi tu we rudi tu Moi. Mm. Rudi. Mm. Yaani Mungu na kuja that beating. Na kuja job alafu mm. mwezi tu mmoja nashika tu mshahara ya mwezi mmoja. Yeah. Alafu COVID-19. Yes. Inafanya that thing. So nikasema tu it's okay. Yeah. Wacha ni wacha nirudi kwa mama kidogo. Unajua went back to Kisumu. Kijana ukispigwa na hiki tu maisha kufanya kitu. Unarudi kwa mguu ya mama unakaa kidogo. Unanyenyekea. Unanyenyekea unaambia mzazi haki pole I yeah. made a wrong decision. Yeah. So I took myself into a thought nini thought process uh-huh. brought myself back to nairobi yes this time around when i brought uh-huh. myself back to nairobi i came when one, is this now this was in uh, 2020 uko june ya 2020 october june when, ya 2020 when when everything <laughs> ilikuwa <laughs> kila kitu ime nini covid 19 restrictions zimepungua yes now we people from uh, london europe yes. can now come to kenya yes. which is nairobi mm. So nikafika Nairobi nikaangalia mm-hmm. then 2021 nikaanza kufanya scouting yes for schools mm. the, the, by then now i knew what i wanted to do mm. kichwa yangu ilikuwa imebaki kwa media yes i wanted to do a course mm. that will put me into a space where mm. i'll talk yes to eat mm-hmm. So nikaanza kutafuta media schools. Yes. Nikatafuta, nikatafuta. Nikapata finally. Mhm. Nikasema acha niende kwa hii I, I registered in a private university. Mm. Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya University. Yes, Mount Kenya University. Mm. Now as a mass media and communication student. student. Sasa mm. mimi ni journalist. Yes. Sasa kama tuta earn tukiongea, mm. tuta earn kwa tuki, TV. Kwa kwa nini kwa TV? Yes. Because I I can do graphics hizo oh, mali nice, nice, hizo yeah. hizo vitu dogo dogo mm. so nilikuwa naona mm. mm. si sasa niende mali hizi vitu zinaweza nini zinafanyika mm. bo mm. kulikuwa na voices za kuambia you go back finish engineering mm. alafu excuse ni kila mtu alifanya degree ya kwanza ni hawataki yes ndio akaenda akafanya nyingine mimi nikasema mm. mm. mimi sio kila mtu hiyo mm. time ya ku soma soma vitu mm kujaza jaza wall na madegree zenye utumi mm. mimi sikutaka nilisema mm. acha tu nikimbize journalism mm. ana kama tunachukua 50 years kuimaliza yes acha tuimaliza yes yes and now we are we are there mm. we are continuing the process of we are almost done we now in mass communication yeah, imagine we are almost done almost done almost done good lazima bwana watu tuko na tense lakini we almost but kitu na nimwanga ni my friends is my friends are left more invest yes when i graduate next year mm but niliwambia nitawasponsor graduation yao. 
so you joined uh, Mount Kenya University, you are a funny character. Thank you, Kucheka. Check up at you know, time in a song. So, uh, what would you describe your style of MC? Because you'd find some MCs like me, I'm a bit laid back, Kidogo, mm-hmm. a bit of energy, Kidogo, just mm-hmm. a mix of both. So, what, what, what would you say is your style of MC? Well, my style of MC in a Kwangana, mm-hmm. I, I define it in a very simple phrase mm-hmm. therapy is expensive, laughter is cheap. Ouch. So Ouch. mine is uh, laughter. Laughter. What do I take it? Yangu, I, I bring crazy energy. Uh-huh. Mimi, <clears throat> I, 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 kama, kama ni arusi yako, nunataka mutu wa metulia. Uh-huh. Sio mimi. Sio, ye. Yeah. Uh-huh. Someone else. Mhm. Hata kwetu mama yangu ajui anajua kutulia ni simchome kwa kamera. Uh-huh. Anajua kutulia kilala. Uh-huh. I like uh, fun. Yes. Then I'm, I'm a guy who is full of energy. Yes. Eh, sasa mimi nikikuja niku energy kama ni ku dance to dance other styles because mm. I just want to have fun. Mm. Use every every bit of me. But kucheka tutacheka. Lazima watu wacheke. Ah, mtafurahia. Mm. Kabisa. Hapo star wa feature. Nice, nice, nice. So, uh which is that one moment that you can remember mm-hmm. while you MC that you would say maybe it was quite embarrassing mm-hmm. that one moment ulikuwa umeshika mic alafu ukafanya ile kitu eh hey, yeah, haru- set ilikuwa harusi yangu ya tatu ama ya nne eh hey. kuna harusi fulani hey. klanga alilipa vizuri alilipa vizuri sana hey, hey. nika prepare eh oi oi eh hiyo ndo siku nilirea that was the time I realized by that confidence who could have So I met, I, I, I go with my sound guy uh-huh. to this wedding. Uh-huh. Then my sound guy dis, distorts my wardrobe for the day. Okay. So Nikampata, uh, he wanted to promote his business. Okay. Now he gives me a tissue. Ya promote business yake. So I remove my shirt, I remove my tie. Nava, tissue yake. Halafu nikafunika na blazer. Mm-hmm. Then juu sasa nimevatisho nikatoa my official shoes nikava rabas. Mhm. Oi, nikafika venue. Mm-hmm. Kunaambiwa oh, by the way deputy governor anakuja. Jeez. Mm, na ume, ume, umeva ka Shylock. Hata Shylock uva suti. Wow. Nakwambia ni I I I felt I, like I embarrassed myself first. Mm-hmm. So niko pale did my thing mm-hmm. it was accepted yes yes then kufika reception mm. now na bridal team me change na kuambia wako smart huko na t-shirt bana ni tumelipwa vizuri client mm. akuba game mm. na mimi niko na t-shirt sijui trouser fulani eh niko like niko casual jeez niko i'm playing with my office mm. na kuambia hiyo time una crack joke isongi ina gonga wall ina gonga wall wow. I was frustrated with that at the time. Then I was also disappointed with <laughs> my sound guy. Mm-hmm. You sound ali later haikubeba. Wow. So kuna disappointments too up around. But that was me when I was here ilikuwa nikiwa fresh. Your third wedding. My third wedding mm-hmm. I was still fresh and that was my first wedding in Kisumu. Mm-hmm. So that was the first time I was uh, interacting with service providers mm-hmm. when in your sound hapo mm-hmm. Kisumu. Mm-hmm. But later on it catched up. Mm-hmm. So currently you know you know what you need to do. Ah, sahi najua microphone na Your style of dressing sahi may change. Eh. What would you describe? Can you help us describe your style, your fashion sense while MC? Uh my style depends with whatever my clients decide to put on <laughs> that day. Mm-hmm. I okay, most of the times I don't go with the color codes of mm-hmm. the wedding. Yes. I go to something close but not too far. Mm. Then uh, it's also determined with uh, uh, like let's say if the client decides to do an African themed wedding, mm. that's what, that's when I come with an African mm. attire. Mm. If they're doing a uh, nini uh, suited wedding, yes. I come also suitable yes. for the occasion. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, I come suited for the occasion. So nice. so that's that, that's how I do. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You quit education. Pale moi. Yes. Ufanye course nyingine. Uh-huh. Yeye ulisikia moyo ina iko contented. Nayo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, uh what would you advise someone who really maybe ako kampo pale kampo anasikia maybe anataka kuingia kwa arts uh-huh. 
na maybe ako kwa ako ako kwa inaitwa kogmaya mm. ako ina kogmaya dri whether whether to quit whether to stay or what exactly to do so what would you advise someone like that so, so uh, l- let me take it before i join yes before i quit mm. so before you join campus mm. uh, this is an advice to students and also to parents mm. let's engage our nini our sons and daughters Mm. on what they love mm-hmm. and try and turn what they love mm. into a career yes because it's easier that way yes so that we don't also waste resources yes uh kama kama kijana kama mtoto wako ni mpoa yes is bubbly mm. blah 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 mm. let's not take them to a career yenye nini yenye ko relax in yes. the name of mm. oh as long as kuna pesa mm. no we are not going for this because of pesa yes <laughs> hii ni kitu ya Uh, in career we are creating mm. something uh, mm. that will be used uh, how do you call it like nini for a whole lifetime yes we are creating something so, in this notion ya uh, just do it yes. then you will do something that you love later is not good na kama uko pale kampo already yes. and you are doing something that you don't love mm. you don't have a passion for mm. kindly kama unaweza nini kama unaweza toka kitambo ni kunikuwa naweza sema kama unaweza toka toka lakini sai if you can finish it finish finish yeah. because one thing that i know is that i know so many friends of mine yes who are in careers mm. that they didn't study for yes. but what they studied for is mm. what wanatumia kwa hiyo space yes. uh, let me just use an example of a friend of mine who is uh, in the media industry but yes. in tourism mm-hmm. so kitu vitu kama uh, mm. and then uh, let me let me we can even use dr masicha chini ni mama si korea yes. who was a doctor mm. and uh, now a journalist yes but now she's reporting on issues on medicine mm-hmm. so we can always see a way we can marry whatever you studied studied in your career mm-hmm. i wish i knew that alia would have finished my uh, electrical and telecommunication engineering mm-hmm. course mm-hmm. because sayara ninge kwa bado niko set on mbele ya camera bado niko Yes. kwa the technical crew mm. but anyways all is not lost mm. we can still push with uh, journalism yes. and uh, learn the other tools later where do you see yourself in the next like 5 3 years in the next 5 years yeah. first things first eh yeah. do i see myself in nairobi yes mm-hmm. first i see myself in nairobi yeah. uh secondly um seeing myself as uh, one of the greatest comedians young yes. comedians in Kenya nice because by the uh, just, just the uh, i think i think uh, three months ago i launched myself as a comedian now oh nice yeah so that i try i i, comedy. I, I think i saw that on hope tv yes. something like that yeah so i'm trying yeah. something on comedy as i also mm. continue with mcing because yes. that is mm. some that, that is a talent that i've suppressed for a while mm. and uh, i feel like it's time i released mm. it Now I'm here to release it. So in the next five, three mm. to five years, yes. I'll be one of the greatest comedians in this country called Kenya. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. 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 Mm. To find your pop quiz to wrap up shoot. Uh-huh. Are you ready for the pop quiz? Yes, I'm ready. What is your favorite subject in high school? Maths. Math, mathematics. Mathematics and physics. Uh, but I know Kisumu Girls is one of the best schools in uh, Swahili. Swahili. Yes. So uh, let me let me assume the fact that you lived in Kisumu you know Swahili. Ah Swahili na you have. There was a greeting in Swahili aina za salam ambayo ni sabal khairi ilikuwa ya jibu ni aheri. Aheri. Aya ya. Hapa ni juu inakaribia kijaloo. Aheri. You know that no, sabal heri, masal heri, uh, they had a heri. It's, yes. it's it a heri uh, Yes, a heri. Nice, nice, nice. Ulienda shule kusoma. Nimeona hiyo. Ah, favorite food. My favorite food is fish. Fish. Not because I'm blue, but I just love fish. Fish and ugali. I can't fish help and it. Chapati. Fish and ugali anytime. Don't play with fish at fish and chapati. Hiyo ni kucheza cha kucheza na mboga. Number two. Favorite movie. My favorite movie. Hey, Jesus Christ. Yes. Sign as a cement interceptor nilipenda. Mhm. No, interceptor nilipenda, but isaya ilitolewa na Wakanda. Nini? Mm. Wakanda Forever season 2. Yes. yes. That was that was a hit. Another one. Uh, do you remember your school motto in primary? Yes. Yes. We had natulenge ju until class 7. Natulenge ju. Yes, then from class 7 we changed to uh, no, from class 1 to class 4 it was mm-hmm. education is the key to success. Mm-hmm. Then from class 4 to 7 ilikuwa natulenge ju. Then it changed to strive to excel. Nice. So sign is strive to excel. Favorite destination. 
favorite destination eh hey, bado napenda Mombasa mpaka wa leo Mombasa ni eh hey, napenda Mombasa Mombasa kama ni Kenya napenda Mombasa nice hey, nikipata tu fare leo mmoja na watch tu mafare niende Mombasa too many fare too many fare too many fare nice <laughs> nice 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 tumalize show thank you so much for coming to the show you can give us your parting shot even as we get to wrap up the show Yes so uh I'll just speak to every uh young chap of the outside there who is trying to uh fuse between their career and their passion. Mm-hmm. Let, let, let's let, let, we can by then we can start having this conversation so that mm-hmm. uh, we can help the young ones outside there. Mm-hmm. If you have a, a passion in anything mm-hmm. and uh this goes to you and also your parent kindly let's look for ways to turn that passion mm-hmm. into a career because I've realized that passion mm. is paid uh, a skill set is paid per hour mm-hmm. but uh, in careers a salary is given per month mm. so it means that a skill set cannot be uh, you cannot uh, it can, like it cannot be measured it cannot be measured mm. in a, using a month's pay mm. because I, i what i know is that what i earn as an mc yes. one day niliambi wanga it's it's something at nini uh, a PTA teacher mm. earns in a month mm. and I earn it in two hours. Mm. So which means it's easier mm. to be paid from a skill mm. than uh, from a nini, uh, from a nini a career itself. Okay. So if we can make this skill mm. a career, mm. tutakuwa poor sana. Yes. So if you can uh, if you're good in journalism mm. fast not from studying if you're good in journalism fast mm. go pursue journalism. Nice. Then you will get nini a nini a secure pay mm. and also as a human being mm. you'll be one of the most comfortable human beings to work to nice to work nice with. nice watu wanaona pete mingi sana wananiuliza uh-huh. is this guy taken or is he single uh hapo kwa kuchukuliwa nilichukuliwa na Yesu oh, anyways hi. yeah this was this was just jewelry uh-huh. nazipenda ngatu kuziangalia hapa kwa mkono uh-huh. uh, when it comes to relationship I, I'm, 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 not in, I'm, i'm not i'm not in a relationship currently uh-huh. niko kwa soko niko kwa soko niko kwa soko i'm trying to look around uh-huh. weigh my options uh-huh. yes uh-huh. yeah i i decided to take a I take a break uh-huh. from my uh, uh, active relationships yes so right now uh-huh. Tunarudi 2020 nili nilijambia tu tunarudi pole pole. pole pole so ni pole pole because tuko kwa ile decade ba nice nice ili akumalizia malizia decade ya kwa sasa ni sawa sawa so where can we find you on social media on social Facebook media IG? facebook instagram tiktok youtube mc glen 254 Nice. Kila mahali. Yes. Uh, ukienda Facebook ni MC Glen MC underscore Glen underscore to five four. But ukitafuta MC Glen to five four kila mahali. Mm. Ni mimi tu niko. Mm. Hapa na mm. mwingine. Ah, Thank yana. you so much sir. Mm-hmm. Eh, naona director ananiharakisha. Tumepitisha hadi tani kabisa kabisa the show has been lit. I, it has my, been my, quite an honor having you. Can, can I greet my mom? Yes, you can greet <laughs> your mom. Mommy. <clears throat> Your son loves you so much. Mm. I say hi, receive all the love from me here in Nairobi. Mm. I love you so much. Thank you for the support. Thank you for believing in me. Baka mm. uh, she's my number one fan. Nice. When uh, everything in Arabic happens, mm. my mom is my uh apodona bounce back to. Then my stepdad, thank you for loving me the way I am. Mm. You are a great man mm. and uh, God loves you so much. Uh, to all my friends mungu wabariki man mimi nawapenda salute amazing thank you so much sir yeah. yes yes so asanteni sana kwa kutazama sana na mitindo hapa kwenye Wema TV it i have been your host MC Barak na Ruby Top MC but i cannot forget this is the christmas season yawa so hey merry christmas to everyone watching sana na mitindo i am so excited that you have been tuning in every single weekend every single Wednesday here on Wema TV from January until now we are in December I am so very excited I want to thank you every my fans wang wote kwa ku always drop uh, your comments your feedback I wish you a merry christmas and a prosperous 2023 make sure to king year 2023 andika vision yako usikose kuandika vision yako haba ku 